Now see a first normal mode of vibration if you are taking n is equal to 1, we can write here L is equal to here lambda 1 upon 2. But see here in this case, this is a open organ pipe of length L and we know it at this end and at this end there will be formation of anti node and this whole length is equal to half of the wavelength. So, we can make the wave like this here in this case and you will be getting here in this here. This is anti node, this is anti node and this is here called node. So, there are two anti nodes and one node here. We can also calculate frequency nu is equal to here v upon lambda 1. So, nu is equal to v upon twice of L and see this is the least frequency here that is called the fundamental frequency or it is called here first harmonic. So, the sound whatever the sound or notes are produced that is called first harmonic. Now, see if you are taking n is equal to 2. So, L is equal to twice of lambda 2 by 2, 2 to cancel and L is equal to lambda 2. So, in this case the wavelength or the wave formed in this open organ pipe is like this. There is anti node, there is anti node and there is anti node and these two are the nodes. Here, so, there are two nodes and three anti nodes and we can get the frequency in this case nu 2 is equal to v upon lambda 2 is equal to v upon L and nu 2 is equal to here we can get twice of v upon 2 L that is twice of nu 1. So, this frequency is called here second harmonic or you can say first over tone first over tone here in this case. So, we can get here like this if you get the n number of frequencies you will be getting here nu 1 is to nu 2 is to nu 3 is equal to your for the 3 frequencies I am taking 1 is to 2 is to 3. So, this is about the standing waves in open organ pipes. Now, see here beats this is also an application of superimposition of the superimposition principle of waves. Here, I have taken two waves like this is one wave traveling to this side, one wave is traveling to this side. Both these waves have got frequency almost same nearly equal and their amplitudes are equal. They are traveling in the same direction and superimposing on each other. When they superimpose the resultant wave is formed here. We are seeing here somewhere amplitude is higher and somewhere amplitude is minimum here again amplitude is higher and again amplitude is minimum. So, we get here alternate variation in the amplitude of the waves here and you know intensity is directly proportional to square of the amplitude. So, wherever the amplitude is higher intensity of the sound will be maximum and wherever the amplitude is minimum intensity of the sound will be minimum. So, when these two waves traveling in the same direction having same frequency same way same amplitude superimpose on each other we get alternate variation in the intensity of sound. This phenomenon is known as beats. So, see here this alternate variation in the intensity of sound is here due to alternate variation in the amplitude of the resultant waves. So, now see here mathematical treatment of this.